Hi, I'm Ojin. I'm here with Afreen and we're here with Professor Mike Curtis. He's the new Dean of the Dental Institute and we've decided to ask him a few questions today just to get to know him. So the first question is, how did a microbiologist become the Dean of the biggest dental institute in the UK? Good question. Um, I've been in dental research all my career, right from the uh, third year project when I was uh, an undergraduate, through a PhD in the composition of dental plaque, and more recently my own research group on, on virulence factors of periodontal bacteria. So I've been in and around dentistry, dental schools and dental academics for the best part of 40 years. Um, what do you think is the best thing about dentists? Um, dental students are incredibly um, conscientious, bright, articulate and entrepreneurial. And together that is a very powerful mix. So on the flip side, what's the worst thing about dentists? Dentists are sometimes too articulate and too <laughs> <laughs> It's the yin and yang of dentists. If you were a superhero, what superpower would you have? I think um, the ability to make everything go still and quiet. Because occasionally I do quite like just silence. Isn't that the power that the Dean already has? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and exercise it and we'll see. What would your ideal day look like? Um, I'd arrive at my desk. I'd spend maybe an hour talking to students who just won a series of fantastic national and international prizes. Um, I'd open my email and I'd be awarded a new million pound grant from the MRC. <laughs> Very and I'd open a letter that tells me our latest publication is published in Cell. Nice. What is your definition of success? Um, meeting my and everyone else's potential. I think it's as simple as that. If you fulfil your potential, then you've been successful. If you could choose your nickname, what would it be? Master. <laughs> <laughs> Master and Commander, maybe. Um, actually, some people do call me that. Um, what is your most, the most rewarding moment you've had in your career so far? I was involved in the establishment of a um, public engagement project for school children. The aim of which was firstly to explain about cell biology and how the body works and how, how things go wrong in the body to school children, but also to sort of raise aspirations of school children to say, you know, you could be a dentist. You could be a doctor, you could be a nurse, you could be a biomedical scientist. And, you know, there are all these career options open to you. And the project has now had about 150,000 wow. children. Wow. That's incredible. Um, so now we're going to ask a few quick fire questions. All right. Um, if you could be any animal, what would you be? An osprey. Marvel or DC? Um, DC. How would you rate your memory? Say that again. How would you rate your memory? Appalling. <laughs> LSE, UCL or Imperial? LSE. I no am... question. <laughs> iOS or Android? Android. Oxfords or Brogues? Brogues. Tall, Giro or Vuelta? Um, oh, it has to be Tall. Kings or Bats? It has to be Kings. Thank you so much for your time. It's been lovely chatting to you and getting to know you a bit better. Um, and we look forward to seeing you and seeing what you can achieve in the Dental Institute. Well, thank you very much. It's been wonderful to meet both of you. It's been thank a you for the, um, the lenient questions. <laughs>